Have you ever searched for something and felt like you've been overwhelmed by the results that have returned? For example, I search for Google Scholar and there are 86,500,000 results that show up. Wow, that is a lot of results. That means that there's a lot of information out there that the search engines have found, but maybe too much information. Who's to say? Well, if I feel overwhelmed, I might go back to a research database and search for Google Scholar there. But if I do want to find information in a certain way and be exposed to the greatest amount of information, a search engine is the way to go. Google Scholar, which I'm going to talk about briefly in this video, is a free platform that allows you to search for research materials, articles, case law, um, and other publications uh, in a simple interface that is much like Google itself. So I'm at Google Scholar, I search for Black Lives Matter, and I receive 2,390,000 results. Way more results than you're going to find in any of the research databases that LW Tech has access to. Um, but at the same time, uh, maybe some good stuff exists in here. The thing about Google Scholar is that it's constantly changing. And it's difficult to do a really, really awesome search in it. As you can see, there are not so many tools available on the surface. Uh, of course, I can filter by time. I can filter by uh, the date or the relevance. Um, there are some advanced search tips that you can use. You can try Googling uh, how to search in Google Scholar and you might find some, but it is not designed to have advanced searching done in an intuitive way. However, let's say you do want to search in Google Scholar just to try to find some information that you're not finding in the research databases. Um, let's say Black Lives Matter, and let's just choose one of the autocompletes and police brutality. And women and Black Lives Matter, okay, this might provide some good information on police brutality in the per context of women in the Black Lives Matter movement. So I go in here and I click on this, and I get access to this article. Well, okay, I'm seeing the article. It has a lock symbol on it. I see the first page. I click on download PDF. I try to authenticate, but guess what? LW Tech does not have access to this. We might have access to this in a re another research database, but we don't have access to it through Project Muse. Otherwise, it would have authenticated and we would be awesome. So this means that if I'm going to try to access this article, I am probably going to have to pay for it. So key tip about Google Scholar, there are pieces of information on here that are not free. Let's keep going. How about Black Lives Matter, a commentary on racism and public health? I click on this, PDF. Okay, in this case, this article, which seems to have a lot of sources cited, by the way, which might make it, might make it okay, um, has been published and is available in full to read. So that's awesome. So there's an example of an article linked in Google Scholar that is available for free. I am logged in, as you can see in the upper right-hand corner, so I can also save articles, which can be helpful. There's also citation tools, which, as I've mentioned in previous videos, always take with a grain of salt. And then there are articles that have cited this article. So that might um, give you some context for how popular this article is or controversial. For example, this book, why are all the black kids sitting together in the cafeteria and other conversations about race, which showed up in Google Scholar, has been cited over 4,000 times in other articles. That may make it popular, it may make it uh, authoritative, it may make it controversial. But that is one way to gauge the, um, the effectiveness or the uh, strength or the uh, integrity of the uh, research that you're discovering here. So that is a little bit about Google Scholar. I'm happy to go into it in more depth if you would like to talk about it. Um, but please note, 
that it is very difficult and not intuitive to search in Google Scholar in an advanced way to hone your results and find um, all of the corners of the results effectively and quickly. Another tool I'm going to show you today is wikipedia.org. I'm sure many people watching this video have heard of Wikipedia. Many of you though might not have. Wikipedia is considered an online encyclopedia. It is crowdsourced so anyone can contribute and anyone can edit. Um, however, uh, there is also a very, very um, complex and dedicated structure in place to keeping um, the material on Wikipedia high quality, and that includes editors and minor editors and um, locking mechanisms for controversial articles and so on and so forth. So as you can see, the interface is quite smooth. I want to all always recommend Black Lives Matter as a starting place for folks that don't know much about any given topic. However, with the grain of salt that it might have been edited by a troll recently, or it might have been not hacked, but uh, taken hostage by a certain person who is putting inaccurate information. So always be critically minded when it comes to looking at Wikipedia. Of course, we're never going to cite or reference the Wikipedia page itself, but by using it as a starting point, we can also take a look at all of the references that are provided and follow through by going to these references and following up on the information, much of which might be high quality, um, that could help us in our own research. So Wikipedia, I think, is getting better and better. It's getting more and more accepted as a piece of the puzzle of conducting research. Obviously, it has its issues like any other um, resource, but I didn't want to leave it out of the conversations. One other thing that you can uh, make note of is that Wikipedia, the website and the mobile app has the ability to support an account. So if you create an account and you are logged in, you can actually save uh, articles that you discover, which is a great way for tracking your research process. That is the end of this video. Thank you for watching me talk, rant, rave about Google Scholar and Wikipedia.